In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create a Java file that defines a shape, background color, and border for your UI elements. For example, I have a relative layout at the center of my screen, and using a Java file I created, I've given it a curved bright red border and a lighter red background. This one drawable file that I created can be applied to multiple views to give them the same style. Let's get started. We'll start by going to activity main.xml file and creating the relative layout at the center of the screen. So right now inside of my activity main.xml, I just have a single relative layout for the whole screen. I'm going to create a relative layout within that. And for this relative layout, I'm going to give it a width and height of 300 SP. I'm also going to specify that it should be in the center of its parent, so at the center of the screen, by saying Android center in parent, and then setting that equal to true. And now if you run that, you'll see that there's an empty, uh, invisible relative layout because it has a white background color. But what we're going to do is we're going to change its color and its border by going over to the drawables folder under resources over here. And inside of this, we're going to right click and create a new drawable resource file. This is where we're going to create our border and background color for our elements. I'll call this file border. Now inside of our border drawable file, we're going to change the selector to a shape. That way we can create a shape drawable. And there are some attributes that we can provide inside of here. So for example, if we wanted to provide a background color for our drawable element, we could say solid. And then for the color, I'm going to say Android color equals, and I'm going to use the color code FFD0D0, which is going to be a light red, like you can see over here. And I'll close this. In addition to that, we can specify our border by using the stroke tag. And now we can say Android uh, color, uh, we can start with width, and this will specify the width of our stroke. So I can say 7DP. And for the color of this border, I can say I'm going to use the color code FF8484, which is going to be a brighter red. And if you look over here, you can see this is a preview of what our drawable will look like. And it does not have curved corners yet. And we're going to fix that by using corners. And now I can say Android radius. And now provide the radius for each of these corners. And I can specify this to be 30 dp. And you can see over here in our preview that now our drawable has curved corners. The last thing that we have to do to actually apply this drawable file that we created to our relative layout is come inside of our relative layout and then say Android background and then provide our drawable border that we created. And if you look in the preview, you can see this here. We'll go ahead and run our app to see the results. The idea is that once you've created this drawable file, you can apply it as the background to other views as well. So if we had a text view, you could say Android background equals at drawable slash border, or if we had a button or an image view and so on. Now our app has launched and you can see we have a relative layout at the center of our screen with the curved corners, a border, and a light red background. The last thing we're going to cover in this video is curving particular corners. So for example, if I only wanted to curve the top left corner and the top right corner, I could do that by coming back to my drawable border file. And inside of corners, instead of specifying a radius for all the corners, I can say Android. And you can see here we can specifically specify the radius for each of the corners individually. So I'll start with the top left corner and say that's going to be 30 SP. And I'm going to do the top right radius and I'll specify that to be 30 SP. And if we look in the preview right now, you'll see that the bottom left and the bottom right corners are not curved. And in our app, you can see now that only the top left and the top right corners of our relative layout have been curved. This concludes the tutorial on borders with drawables. Make sure to subscribe to the IG Apps YouTube channel to be notified when the next tutorial comes out. Until then, happy developing.